Let's make this same picture frame, but this time let's use half lap joints instead of uh, miter joints. So R for rectangle, and I'm just gonna draw a rectangle that is two comma 20 enter. P for push pull, let's push this up or pull this up with a thickness of 0.75 inches, enter. Space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. Just made the piece and made it a component before I make any of my cuts. Because we're gonna be overlapping pieces, we want to make them components first. I need to make a horizontal piece, so R for rectangle, and let's draw this one at 12 inches, comma, 2 inches, enter. P for push pull, let's push this up, or pull it up, 0.75 inches, enter. Space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. And I'm going to make these uh, where they're actually going to be finished. So M for move, and let's make them overlap. For contrast sake, I'm going to use my paint bucket tool and just drop some color on the horizontal piece. Now, M for move, and I'm going to copy this one right here. Actually, select the red piece, M for move, and I'm going to copy this one up to the top because it's going to be the exact piece. Select this vertical piece, M for move, control brings up copy, and I will set it right there. So now I have a picture frame that I need to cut the joints on. So what piece do we want to be visible on top? I want the vertical piece to be visible on top. So let's cut out on top of the red piece. Zoom in just a little bit. And I can double click to edit my part. And if you notice, any command in SketchUp can snap to an endpoint or say a midpoint. Every single line and SketchUp has a midpoint and an endpoint. So alpha line, let's cut out this little side over here. And I'm also going to cut out this little side over here. So I can verify that I have three pieces or three faces up here on this top. So P for push pull. And I can either push this down to half the thickness or I can simply just snap to the midpoint. Push this down, snap to the midpoint. Spacebar, click outside of this boundary box to stop editing the part. And because there is a copy up here, you can see that what I did to one is copied right there. Let's go back to this gray piece. I need to cut out the bottom side of this gray piece. Double click the part to edit the part. Now you're in this dotted line boundary box saying we are editing this part. Alpha line from here to here, P for push pull, and let's just push it up to this reference point. Now what I did here is is updated on this other piece because there are copies, as you can see here. Now I need to go to the other side of this gray piece and do the same thing. Alpha line, let's trace out our red piece. P for push pull, and push it up to this reference point right well it's not letting me do it let's go to this one that'll be fine right there space bar click outside to stop editing and because there are copies it updates both of them at the same time a nice half lapped picture frame